Well, hello there, everybody. It is me, Postmodern Cowboy, and tonight I'm here with something very different from what I normally stream. Um, on the screen behind me is Crusader Kings 3. This is a grand strategy game from Paradox Interactive. Not my normal genre, but it's certainly something that I, I really want to get more into, um, especially with uh, forthcoming updates from Paradox. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to talk about what's behind me. We are playing as uh, Amir Yakub of the Safarid dynasty. Um, the Safarid dynasty um, was a 9th century Persian uh, dynasty, which Yakub was a, a copper smith um, who basically formed a breakaway um, principality from the Abbasid Caliphate. Um, so we are in the waning days of the Abbasid Caliphate. Um, we are an Islamic power. And um, we're going to see how far we can get in human history. I've created a custom character here. Um, you'll notice he's uh, Sharia Persian. Um, he is temperate, generous, diligent, and compassionate. Um, he's unmarried. And he's 19. So I've, I've edited the uh, in-game Safarid leader um, just a little bit in order to, I, I think, create some more compelling gameplay. We're playing an Iron Man, so I want every a little advantage I can get. Iron Man means uh, no saving. Um, the game saves when you quit, but there's no saving, so you just gotta gotta roll with the punches, and we'll see uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, this may be um, one of many playthroughs, uh, some of which will be less successful than others. Let's uh, let's go though. Okay. So uh, I have I have like I said about a hundred hours in this game. Um, I'm not very good at it. I I certainly haven't played it in uh, over a year. But there's some forthcoming updates. Um, the tours and tournament update uh, is coming soon from Paradox, and there's actually a Persia update, which is which is why we're playing as the Persians. Um, I saw some stuff on the uh, on 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 YouTube. Um, people were like, why why would you play as the Persians? Who wants to play as the per? I want to play as the Persians. They're they're, they're hecking cool, you know. The rest of Europe is in, uh, you know, the Viking Age, and the 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 Persian kingdoms, um, you know, even even with uh, occupation by uh, external Islamic power um, by the Abbas Caliphate, the Persian kingdoms are in the Renaissance. This is uh, the Golden Age of of Persia. Um, it's a really cool place and time to play. Um, okay, so. We've got a wall ornament here we can put up. Um, I'm in the throne room view. I've never really messed with this. This is a traditional, uh, what is it, Sassanid? Yeah, Sassanid Empire uh, flag. Um, it's currently actually in use by, um, like, breakaway monarchist groups in Iran. And we'll put uh, our house banner and our dynastic banner up on the wall. Um, we have pedestal objects? We have one of Muhammad's teeth. Okay, that's, that's a pretty interesting relic. Very interesting. Okay, uh, makes our courtroom just that much grander. Um, maybe... Ah, I should have... Okay, interesting. Interesting. I don't know if I wanted to put that there. I should have maybe... I didn't realize that there were relic spots along the walls. Um, I haven't had a relic to put in a courtroom yet in this game. So, um, it's, it's a pretty interesting game, all, all told. It's a story generator. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preface this playthrough by saying that I'm not responsible for what you're about to see. There might be some disturbing uh, content. So, um, by way of content warning, let's just acknowledge that um, oh, I am, in fact, married. I'm married. My wife is 19. Okay. She's a dishonorable antagonist. Oh yeah, she doesn't look too happy. Brilliant strategist, logistician, she's vengeful, she's shy, and she's deceitful, and she's lowborn. Okay. So, a uh, band of several hundred pale-skinned enslaved men and women from the eastern reaches of Europe have escaped the realm of my acquaintance. Uh, this guy, Vladimir. Oh, these are... Haha. <laughs> And they've escaped from uh, the Yamad Emirates, which is where? Oh, over, um, okay, across the Persian Gulf. So, Mm 
do I want to give some Europeans a barony? Right out of the gate, this is the first uh, decision presented to me. As Amir, I, I will refrain um, from giving... You know, I didn't even want Vladimir to... 200 stress. I'm compassionate, 100 stress. The only way I'm not going to get extremely stressed out and, you know, experience something uh, close to a mental break is if I give these guys land. Okay, what could go wrong? Let's be, be generous and welcoming, after all. Um, Cyrus the Great built a, a Persian Empire for, for all peoples, regardless of faith or creed. Um, I shall emulate, strive to emulate that. And this guy's not happy with me now. But whatever, he's across the water. I don't have to worry about him right now, anyway. So yeah, this is a this is a very interesting game, and I'm I'm really looking forward to um, the Persia update. I think not enough games uh, replicate ancient Persia. I should choose a lifestyle. Uh, I am a an accomplished diplomat, so let's roll with that. Uh, we're gonna focus on majesty, and uh, prestige for dreads. Yeah, let's go with Sway Scheme Power. And we'll start swaying people right away. Um, who do I need to sway? My my wife really likes me. She's uh, dishonorable, but she really likes me. So I don't have to super worry about that. Um, I can take more wives if I want to. So if I find myself in a position where she hasn't given me a child within a year, um, it's the 20th of May, so we'll keep an eye on that situation. Um, because I will need an heir right now. I do not have an heir, and if you don't have an heir and the game ends... Um, yeah, you, you lose. Uh, powerful vassal expects a council position. So, who is it that expects the council position? Uh-oh. Some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. Uh, I expect results. After a long day, I'm complaining to uh, Gulshan. That's my wife. Um, let me do something about her husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. She's going to teach um, one of my guys... Spy master, marshal, or chancellor. Who needs teaching? Um, what is her actual uh, skill? She is a brilliant strategist, so she might as well teach my marshal. Okay, she's uh, teaching, and you know, she's and she's assisting me too. This is this is a pretty pretty good court to start. Everybody is happy. They all like me. Um, a wise fool named Kosro uh, has come to me. It's a uh, name of a mythical uh, Persian king, uh, K. Kosro. Please share your wisdom with me. Bless the whole court. No. And he's from a noble house. He's melancholic, but he's an intellectual, zealous, lustful. Yeah, this seems like someone who will fit in. So, welcome to the court, my friends. More courtiers are always going to be better, I think. There's not really a downside. Um, perhaps he will have an average aptitude as a court doctor. Um, that makes a lot of sense. And... Let's see, who else is super important early on? Master of Horse, I should put my... Uh, one of my vassals on it. Yeah, he becomes a better knight as well, that makes sense. Um... Who else would I like to employ out of the gate? Uh, Seneschal would be useful to manage the households. Uh, get uh, Kavei to do it. Uh, my wife has um, become pregnant. That is wonderful. That is that is wonderful. Okay. He's also melancholic, skilled tactician, paranoid, arrogant, and stubborn. Those are less than ideal traits. Perhaps um, 
this Kusro, which is a different Kusro, believe it or not, um, who has average ability, it would make a fine Seneschal. I'll make this fella my personal champion. No, you know what? I'll make... Mm, Yeah, no, I will make him a personal champion. So it costs me a little bit of money. My income is uh, depleted, but I'm gaining a lot of prestige per month now um, because I've got a fairly well-staffed court. Uh, there's a court event available. Uh, courtier feels scorned, and we have an argument to settle. So let's settle the argument. Um, the guy burped. Well, that was rude. Okay. We'll lose court grandeur, but I'll lose stress. I'll form a uh, friendship with Karush. Um, I definitely don't want to do that option. Okay, let's do the piety route here. We'll lose some court grandeur. I'll gain some piety. And... Uh, Karush will gain opinion of me. Um. Could use a friend. If I'm going to lose the grandeur. But I don't need to lose stress right now. Yeah, let's, let's be pious. Okay. Uh, courtier scorns. Why would you honor that Scullion Kusro, uh, and, uh, the knight, uh, Kave is livid. I, I gave him a role at court. He's my personal champion. And he wants a different position. He doesn't want to be my personal champion. He wants to be my high ominer. I am... Unsure how to proceed here. I don't want to upset Kosro anymore, that's for sure. I don't want to make him a core gesture. Je jester. So I'm just going to sacrifice the 15 opinion, and we'll get a little closer to forming a royalty. Or, uh, uh, for royalty. Forming a rivalry. Um... But yeah, as I was saying, I'm super excited for, uh, Persia... Uh, specific flavor packs and unit packs for this game. There's, you know, one of one of my all-time uh, favorite pieces of literature is a, a classic piece of Persian poetry from the medieval period, um, the Shahnameh. Uh, if you haven't read it, um, if you haven't uh, seen it performed, um, I encourage you to go on YouTube. Uh, there's a, a full-length version uh, minus um, the later that the, the last third of the book is missing. Um, but it's an adaptation. Um, it's a radio play. Um, Forward is done by Francis Ford Coppola. It's it's quite good. Uh, and it's certainly the most accessible way to experience the Shana May. It is uh, better than Tolkien. I'll say that. And Tolkien uh, actually seems to have taken some of the elements um, from the Shana May, um, perhaps uh, unattributed. Uh, we're not going to hold court right now. I don't have a player heir. Oh, well, I do have... I had... What? I have twins, two perfect little boys. Okay, we're not going to name one Zahak, that's for sure. Um, what do we name... Speaking of... Uh, <laughs> speaking of the Shana May, let's, uh, let's pull names from that. So... All right, Asfandir and Siavash, may you grow strong and wise. Uh, twins is a little bit of a problem because they're my firstborn, so um, who is the heir apparent? The, the one who came out first, I guess. Who was holding whose heel? Let's see, did the game decide uh, Asfandir is the uh, player heir? Okay, that's fine. 
I hope I haven't faded him with that name. But it is, uh, it is just a beautiful piece of poetry. It's a beautiful piece of writing. And I really, like, I would love to see a Shaname mod um, done for, uh, for Crusader Kings 3. I think it would work so well. It would be, you know, it's like, it's pan-historic. It's more like, a, you know, Iranian Game of Thrones. It's not really set in a specific time period. It's an amalgam of different time periods. And, and you know, Alexander the Great has a cameo. <laughs> like, um, as Iskandir. Like, it's... Uh, it's good though. Oh God, it's good. Um, yeah. So uh, paradox, I'm really excited. Uh, if you, uh, if anyone from paradox happens to stumble across my videos, I'm really excited, and I'm doing a Persia playthrough. Uh, my hats off to you. And I'm going to continue this playthrough. I think when uh, tours and tournaments drops, hopefully I won't have to start a new save for that. But uh, okay, Amir Faraz, um, come in, come in, my friend. Yes, come in, come in. Uh, who is this? Marshall, Vassal. He has taken the knee in front of me, served me well. I gain grandeur, I gain prestige. Uh, the whole dynasty gains renown. Uh, we're not exactly a, a super renown. We're obscure. Yeah, we're an obscure dynasty. But I bet you if I go to the courtroom, um, let's see here. Uh, my, my actual court level. We're 30th in the world, so we've got the 30th row. Oh, my queen is sitting there. Wow, that's, that's quite nice. It's it's like a little. I've never I've never actually bothered to play since this uh, this DLC came out. I bought it and I never played. Um, mostly because I think I was playing as uh, factions where the courtroom means less, like the you know the the Vikings are raid raid raid, not court intrigues. But this is this is a game of managing court intrigues. Um, I'm just going to keep time running at a regular pace here. Uh, my heir won't become a great ruler without education. Okay, I need to properly groom my heir for kingship. Who shall educate my childs? What? No, that's not what I want to do. Whatever. Um... Court splendor has gone up. Um. <laughs> okay, she can educate the younger son. And I will educate the older son. Until he'll inherit. Uh, some of my more direct attributes. I don't need to take a second wife. Um, that's for sure. It's, it's very good luck. Very good start with two two healthy baby boys. And, you know, things are going to get screwed up later. Don't worry. Which powerful vassal expects a council position? Abbas has some Zade. I don't know. Do I want to get rid of this guy? I don't think I want to get rid of this guy. This guy likes me. I don't have room in my council. What, what's your What's your actual skill? Sorry, I'm humble, deceitful. You are good at... Intrigue. He's good at intrigue. Is my spy master actually good at intrigue? My spy master is okay at intrigue. Okay. No. Um, I'm not replacing you. And uh, your learning is of the same. So even if I were to replace my chancellor, um, I don't really need, oh, uh, no, the learning skill is used by the uh, alama. Okay. 
Sorry, bro, you're SOL, I think. Now, however, we need to get a powerful vassal on the council. So... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, he's got too many alliances, I can't piss that guy off. No, there's no room. There's just no room. Someone will have to die before he can get a seat. Or they'll have to do something wrong. It won't take long, I'm sure. He's with child again. Well, this could get at a hint. Accuse her of violating a sumptuary law? I can challenge the character to a stewardship debate, attacking them for their crimes against fashion. That's great. I love it. Such a such a weird little game. It's not really little at all, it's such a weird game. And like the, the map is huge. The map is huge. Like you can play as some incredibly obscure and far flung places and people. I assume at some point there will be a uh, full China update uh, with the Chinese medieval period. I don't, I don't know for sure um, if there's a direct analog. It, it almost makes sense for them not to, but the fact that the map is torn along that edge indicates to me that in fact uh, someday it may be completed um, in a, you know, an update in another year or two. And this this game has received a, a bunch of updates. And like I said, tours and tournaments is coming out soon. It's going to add. Uh, feasting and tournament events and you can have like poetry competitions which again like doing poetry competitions in the in the, the court of the, the Shahan Shah the you know Persian High King like that is cool I hope there's like a Shahname event so you know Fedosi writes the Shahname and as a cultural or national epic I just I just went to a, a lecture as I'm, I'm kind of pumped up on this stuff I, I just I just went to a lecture on the Mongol Shahname which was which was very funny um the Facebook group in advance of the event was Iranians were livid about the uh, presentation. Uh, you know, the, the Iranian ethno nationalists were like, "We're not Mongols." And you have to explain to them that that in fact that like the Ilkhanate were in charge in uh, Persia for you know a, at least a hundred years, probably more, one hundred and fifty, two hundred years, something like that, in uh, the High Medieval Period, and. As a result, like their cultural epic, one of the greatest artistic interpretations of their cultural epic. Uh, letters one of the greatest interpretations of their cultural epic is um, Mongol is this another son let's name him Yakub after me lovely I just make her happy happy wife happy life She's incredibly happy. She's, she's a little too happy. <sighs> okay. So far, nothing needs doing. Let me check these guys out. They have a similar military power to me. So I could begin making um, moves against these folks. But in order to do that, I need to solidify some alliances. So let's go to the household. Um, my children's faces aren't visible. That's super weird and concerning. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know why they just have floating eyeballs and teeth. Um, that's a weird one, Paradox. I assume they'll grow out of it. But yeah, let's find a spouse for my faceless boy here. Look at the way they've massacred my boy. And we're going to go um, in order of alliance power. Okay, who is closest to me? That's really what I care about. The Hashemids? Oh, 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 oh. Um. Whoa. That's not good. So 
So my marshal has accused my spy master of having engaging in sodomy. Um well they are they are bisexual. I don't really have a choice um but to be a homophobe about this. All of these people now hate each other. And the one guy cheated on his wife. She's going to hate everybody. And he has a wife. This is bad. This is really bad. Uh, okay, well, you know what? I'm not going to allow it to destroy my court. That's what I'm going to say. Um, somebody wanted a position, right? That was... Is he, uh, is he a landed vassal? He is. I can't imprison him for... Can't imprison him for the, uh, the the crime of sodomy. I don't really want to, to be honest. I do want to clear up space for that powerful that powerful noble. Uh, it would be pretty cynical of me to use that as an excuse. I think it would be a betrayal of my my own principle, certainly. But uh, when in Safarid Persia, you do as the Safarids do. Asfandir is a ruler in the making. He gained the trait bossy. Well, that's a good thing, I think. I think it's a trait that turns into something else later on, like these, the traits evolve. What is that? Who is moving? There's 2,000 troops moving near my border. Who is at war with who? Um, there's a peasant revolt in the Tahirids. Okay. Uh-oh. Speaking of peasant revolts. Uh, oh, okay. So the last time this happened uh, to me, uh, they just took over my capital and killed my children. So I kind of have to... Okay, what... Is there anything that will... Watchtowers take three years. It's too long. We'll have a revolt before then. Hmm. Okay. It has happened. Okay, that's what we were waiting for the other shoe to drop. It was kind of like an open secret, and... I still can't... imprison him. I can't condemn his sins. I'm not... I'm still not sure how to proceed here. Faiths and religions... See, how do I suppress factions? If I go to the encyclopedia and look up factions. Okay, their discontent just rises over time and then they will issue an ultimatum, at which point I can either fight them or comply. Uh, she is pregnant again. This is going to be baby number four. I mean... You know, it's not Henry VIII's problem. 
the, the real problem is gonna be I have to give all of these kids land before I die, and they're gonna they're gonna King Lear each other right, over over my lands when I go. Um, I think I think a feudal Japan version of this would be pretty epic too. Do a do a run. Not Iran, a run as in the um, Kurosawa film, but it's good too. You should check that out. Okay. Now who'd this be? First army of kids. So I have an army, a standing army in my territory. My marshal has called up 500 troops of his own. Okay, he's pursuing his own objectives. Oh, it appears that there's a peasant uprising in Hormuz now. Okay, well. Let's step on that. Raise the royal army. Okay, this fellow is Sultan Omar, who I'll admit has a fabulous mustache. Um, boy, my character looks a little weird. Um, has become my friend. The Habari Sultanate. So my child is married to his child, or, or betrothed to his child. Um, so this is, this is a relationship that makes sense. Yeah, bro, let's be friends. Are these... I had a son and a daughter. Okay, uh, let's have a... Faradun and a Gordafrit. I'm gonna run out of dam. Okay, wait a second. Okay, a fairly average peasant uprising underway, but there's a very large one down here that I gotta put down. Let's run these guys down. Like they're moving to get together. Okay. New lifestyle perk. I have lots of children. Let's get them lots of skill points. This guy certainly isn't a warrior. My army's slow. To catch up with them, yeah, on the next move. I gotta save my vat, my my marshal. Oh, come on, come on, come on, get in there, guys, get in there. No, we arrived right in time. He has his own rebellion. That's what's going on there. It's his. Okay, my counselor died. And the marshal got killed. Okay, well, then that clinches that, this powerful vassal. That's fine. Now I'm getting a shit ton of prestige, almost too much prestige. I'm gonna just... That peasant revolt ended. Now I gotta go put down the, the big one. I'm gonna speed time way up here. Track the battle.
Okay. So we enforce a white piece. Peasant rabble is disbanded. And disband all armies. Okay. Should help my financial outlook. Uh, weapons from the Maghreb. Bronze plated laminar armor. Yep. Cool. Very cool. That's new too, having an inventory for your leader and Alright, uh, what the fuck is going on up here? What is this? Who's who's fighting me? And why? Why is I guess again this is an internal struggle involving um Boy, they pick fights on their own, eh? That's just eventually that's gonna cause me big problems. Who is this? Why is there a green territory carved out of my... Okay, they're taking it back. Being a rightful liege, uh, liege is important. Um, I, don't, I definitely don't need more more spouses. Okay. Well, you need to find a way to make more money, and that's going to come through uh, urban developments. So we're gonna go to my capital, which is Zaranj. Holy children. A camel breeder there. So we can build. Take five years to build a tax office. Huh. Really, it's it's hard it's hard to increase trade. Really, does not go up very fast. Animal breeders and you know again these would be great, but these are prohibitively expensive. I wonder if there's like a trading uh, thing I can like can I build? An inspired person can be sponsored. Oh, like, Thetos, he has this great idea for a, a poem. Got it. Shay has a book inspiration. Ah. <sighs> She's very competent. Okay, we're gonna write a book about court intrigue, um, and hope it uh, hope it pays off. Okay. Two palfreys. I am training the horse. I managed to train the horse. I was not injured by it. Yeah, that's good. This is this is a competent king who's good at what he does. Okay. 
I don't know where the trait, the warhorse trait goes, but Okay. Perhaps I should hold court. My court is now ranked 15th in the world. Things are things are coming along. His eyes are looking uh, a little sunken. How old is he now? He's 26. Be interesting to see how this guy ages. The wife still looks sullen, but I guess she's pretty happy with her place in life. Content. If I had more money, I'd expand my army, but I... I don't. Okay. Okay, let's give the horse a mythological name. Go with that. Oh, court grand year four. Seems to be a war going in farce over here. You guys not my friend though. My friend's fifty three, he's probably not gonna live too much longer. I should I should put my eyes on. Hmm, Che can write about scheming and manipulation, um, like uh, Afra Siab. She can write about women falling at uh, one's feet, um, as with the hero Rustam. And uh, she can write whatever she wants to write. So I'll let her write whatever she wants to write. And it'll be a higher quality because of that. Yeah, gain a devotion level. But we did. Okay, we seem to have reclaimed. Uh, okay. One of my vassals comes to pay tribute and he tripped and fell. This is uh, a spy master, the um, the man who was caught in a little sodomy love triangle. I'll be magnet. He tripped and fell. This is a really strong start. The financial outlook is not good. That's... Okay, yeah, I should hold court. Okay, court is in session. Please approach the bench. Oh no. <laughs> like a lineup of people who want shit from me. Um, okay. Somebody has come forward to offer themselves as a bodyguard. Uh, I'm Hedyat Manito. Hedyat Al Ghazali. Hedyat. Hedyat. Okay. He's from, from a noble house. He's unmarried. He's 33 years old. He looks strapping. Um, I found myself a bodyguard. Hmm. They want me to spend some money on a new court fashion. Um, 
Um, they want to ban open carry. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, people are killing each other. Do Are we civilized? Do we ban weapons within settlement walls? I think we do. Within settlement walls. And Naib Faridun um, wants people to carry weapons. Banning weaponry will castrate the townspeople, he says. Yeah. Um, I can just have them fight it out. No, ban weapons within settlement walls. Okay, that was actually a productive session. Um, we've got new fashion, we've got a new law, and I've got a new bodyguard. And my business here is done. Oh, the kids are in court too. That's cool. The heir, the heir apparent. Okay. Back out of that. It didn't even cost me much prestige to hold that. That was very beneficial. I can do it again in five years. Could probably stand to get these uh, the rest of these kids. Sivash is a thinker. Uh, let's get him a wife. Uh, by virtue of alliance power. Bahar, yeah. Huh. So... Che has uh, approached me asking who I would like to dedicate the book to. Wife doesn't need it. There's no need for dedication. Only God guides me. I will say, God guides me. That was the pious thing to do. Okay. We've now formed an alliance with a uh, farce. Okay. And uh, third child. Let's go in. Order of alliance power again. Don't need an alliance with them. We've got an alliance with them. I really want one with the Shahi Kabul Shadam. He has a wife. The primary heir is unmarried, so perhaps I can arrange a marriage um, between him. That didn't sound good. So Gordafried can be sent to uh, Arang of the Kabulshatam. Oh, oh, okay. The secret, the secret has reached the light of day about the, the buggery. Um, nothing happens immediately. They're all just, this is, this is the, the drama that will eventually tear the kingdom apart. These two men, um, who just... Wanted to get some, right? Like, it is what it is. Great. So, we now have an alliance with Well, maybe we don't have the alliance yet. Who are my allies?
see if I can arrange marriage with uh, one of my sons. Okay, my vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law, but how much is obedience without devotion? I don't really understand what I have to do here. Oh, I will follow the example of Keiko's Row and I will be a generous leech. Okay, there we go. So I now have an alliance with Couple Shah Kalar of the Shahi Couple Shahdom. There's a mouthful. So I have alliances on two of my borders, but somehow we don't have an alliance with, uh-oh. My warhorse is sick. Okay, I'll pay 25 gold to save the warhorse. I feel like that, uh, that storyline is going to end sadly. Sadly. It's been a pretty eventful hour. I've only been doing this for an hour and we're uh, we're closing in on you know, the midway point in my character's life. He's 27. I don't know. I don't know how long he's going to live. He might live into his 50s, 60s, somewhere up there. He could be he could live to 120, right? And that's, you know, again if the uh, so whoever makes a mod uh, of the Shunamei, the, the character ages are pretty extraordinary. Like, R Rustam the hero lives to 600 years or something. Um, che has a book. A repeating image of rose flowers. A book with fine lettering. Lavishly illustrated. Okay, so we've a crime and punishment. Masterwork book. Huh. So she's a, she's a cop. Or a lawyer. I guess she's a lawyer. Um... All forms of torture known to our age, described in gleeful detail and lavishly illustrated. It has become a court artifact. And the inscription says, Allah is my strength, which makes more sense than saying to my beloved wife in a book about torture, I, I think. <laughs> the message might have been might have been lost to uh, future archaeologists there. Alright, I got a I got an achievement. You can't see it, but I got I haven't received any achievements pretty much in this game, but I finally got an achievement for patronage. Cool. I'm I'm about it. I'm weirdly I'm weirdly really liking this playthrough. Okay. Of course, it's all gonna go it's all gonna go very, very wrong. This I'm I'm setting myself up for success with all of these children because we're just we're just gonna burn through them when this guy like you know, he'll come down with cancer in his forties and that'll be it. <laughs> uh, the plague will come to town, right? Okay, what's going on up here with the peasant uprising? Just little, little, little uprising. It's okay. I really want to figure out how to get these. Uh... No. The youngest son. So the youngest daughter. Damn Sheikh Nasser and his three thieving lackeys. <sighs> okay, someone's been taxing heavy. This guy's really not good with good with money. I'm not going to force the people to pay if they've already been taxed by somebody else. Um, and Sheikh Nasser isn't even from my... He's a, a, a another Emir's spy master. So he came to town and he collected money that wasn't his to collect. And um, it's a personal feud. So I won't, I won't download that on my people. I think that's fair. 
I think that's fair. Okay, this guy really likes me, but do I want to play a game of Pachisi? I was <laughs> watching uh, the Royal Game of Ur. I was watching a, a lecture on the Royal Game of Ur the other day. Um, these games. Uh, Pachisi and Hnefatafel uh, came up. Hnefatafel uh, is pretty cool. I don't, I don't know the rules for uh, Pachisi, but oh, I missed the invitation to play the board game because I was the time was time was running. Well, that's too bad. I forgot to pick up the phone. Oh well. That could have solidified our alliance. Oh, we are allied. So I have okay, I have all my I have all my allies now. That's what I need. Twisted mockery of our faith. I'm not gonna Go in for some Iberian adaptation of the prophet's words. It's just not how things are going to go in my kingdom. Wife's pregnant at 28. All right. Let's fucking go. I almost clicked divorce. I don't want to accuse her of violating the sumptuary law just to see what happens. Okay. A powerful vassal now expects a council position. This guy is a great fighter. My marshal is not a great fighter. My marshal already really likes me a lot. So... I'm gonna replace Daoud. He only lost 20, okay. I can create titles. Creating a title may cost gold, but it comes with advantage to increase your rank. You gain du jour cast a spell eye on titles that are du jour parts of the title. Vassals consider me their rightful leash. Okay, so I can create the Duchy of Macron. That'll cost like all of my money. Uh, uh. But I can also create a, a duchy on someone else's land, right? That's, I think that, that is my land. I'm not going to do it right now. I need to save the money. We've only got 280 gold. I'm not going to spend a huge percentage of my golds. Okay. Pay the master horse. I gained a strong war, war, war horse. Look at that. Okay, in my middle age, perhaps I should engage in some intrigue. 
I have a reasonable intrigue skill. I can become a schemer as well. Okay. All right, let's play that board game, bro. Sorry, I yeah, uh, sorry I wasn't paying attention. This game is excellent pacing. It really does. Like it makes you, it gives you time to think about what's going on, and then it drops stressful events into your lap when you're not fully prepared for it, but... Armor's coming in, okay. He bends the knee. Court Grandeur is level 5. Okay, we can unlock a, di unlock a dynast the dynastic legacy. Um, we are, we are a glorious house. I mean, I guess that's the diplomatic option, right? Ooh, all right, we can start learning people's languages. I, like, we, we speak the dominant language. There isn't really an advantage to me for that. We put a little work in the bloodline. Inheriting desirable congenital traits. Fertility does not seem to be a problem. Okay, let's go with the desirable match. People want to marry our family. Yeah, we'll get yeah, we'll if we go down this glory tree, we'll get knights and prestige of course all of that goes away um, not the dynastic stuff but all of the like positive traits go away when the character dies an inspired person has come ooh we've got a, uh, a blacksmith he's gonna make the uh, barber bayan All right. That I'll pay for. Tinker away, my friend. Tinker away. 15 months. Okay. Court artifacts. Let's put the crime and punishment book over there by the wall. Check in on the prestige of my courtroom. We're now uh, we now have the eighth greatest courtroom in the world. Let's see who's ahead of me. Um, the Trax Transoxanian uh, Ismaili Amir. Uh, I was just at the uh, the uh, Ahahan Museum uh, in uh, in uh, Toronto here the other day. Um, Ismailis are cool, man. Ismailis are cool. Anyway, um, King Louis II of France, King Louis II, uh, the Younger of Italy, um, King Hussein, and then there's me. And at the top of the list is Basileus Basileus of the Byzantine Empire. Okay, so the Byzantines are ahead of me and the Abbasids are ahead of me. Um, but the Transoxanians, I can catch up to them. That um, we can do. I think my motivation is to just have a nicer court than they do. I assume... It's this guy? Oh no, it's this? Transux. He managed to form Transuxania? Oh boy. This guy could become a problem. He's got a much bigger army. If he decides to mess with me, he likes me a lot, but if, if he were to decide to mess with me, it would be kind of like uh, a Frasia crossing the Oxus. Okay, tell me it's... 
I want daughters. I want daughters, so I'm gonna start marrying them off. Um. All right, good ours. It's just the salmonids, yeah. So, and they—they they actually historically are what replace uh, us. The salmonids wind up within a hundred years taking over um, the Safarid area. So we're gonna have to fight pretty hard to prevent them from happening. Now, granted, they are geographically pretty easy to deal with, right? They've got all of these vassals in all of these um, mountain, all these valleys between the mountains. Um, they can't be crossed, so. I can kind of clear them out, maybe one at a time, is the idea, if we fight. Arrange a marriage between her and uh, the youngest, uh, Gudars. Okay. Now, now I can form... I need to take these people out, but I don't, I don't have a claim. I don't actually have a good claim. He's got a bigger army than me now, too, because I haven't invested anything in my military. So let's start the process of military investment. Okay. And now I'm losing money. But we've got... That'll bring us up to uh, to par anyway. With uh, these, the Tahirids are our true rivals right now. We're gonna find their leader here. He likes me. Well, we bonded over conversation at dinner. I really like this guy. Okay. Who's this? This guy's not allied to anybody either. This is getting close to the moment. Is he any good at war? He's terrible at war, too. His son is young. His wife is old. He has a lot of children. This could turn into a really ugly multi generational conflict if we don't. Uh, deal decisively with this fella. It's a religious villain. We're not really getting to that, uh... What's going on down here again? Mm. A treacherous villain has asked. He can ride my horse. I mean, he's the master of horse. One would assume he rides them all the time. Get more prestige. He pays the jizya. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Metalsmith has bad news.
Okay. Found poor metal. Nothing I can do about that. Okay, we're going to dedicate the artifact to them. Really want to take a look at this religion panel because it keeps popping up that event. So not non... Oh, interesting. Okay. It's a non-believer tax, but... Interesting. Diplomacy challenge. Yeah. I'll pass that, no problem. Master Diplomacy. Four positions. Alright, I got that. Oh. This unmarried knight, uh, known as the criminal, is hated by everyone on account of his wicked faith. Convert, dude. Just convert. Save myself. Save yourself. Okay, we're making money again. It's so cool. Okay. That's fun, dear. Gains temperate, which is good because um, in. Uh, sh the Shia Islamic faith, uh, temperate is a virtue. Doing that. Welcome to my court. Okay, let's appoint a judge. The guy who converted. I have someone who will make a good gardener. I don't. Granger went down because I'm in debt. Let's not worry 
what's guardians? What's an antiquarian? Court physician would be good at it. He's my court physician. Hunters causing ruckus. An unknown noblewoman has paid a man to draw a map. Hmm. No stress. No stress. I've managed to live a stress-free life so far. How old am I? Stress will catch up with me in a big, big way. Eventually, it's just going to strike me dead. I'm 30. Yeah, stress starts to pile up in your mid-30s. Tell me about it. Persian Revalia, or re, re, Regalia, Persian Regalia, uh, Silver Scepter, set with pieces of Lapis Lazuli, fine wool robes, the Scepter and Robe, sweet. Regalia of excellent craftsmanship. Now, is that an inventory item I can do something with? I get it. Are these things visible in the courtroom? No, I don't think they are. Wow. Okay, well, uh... I think I think I'm gonna leave it there um, and pick up um, from a very very positive, um, well-established place before the next video. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's all for me for now. This has been Postmodern Cowboy playing uh, Crusader Kings Three, uh, which is a grand strategy game from Paradox Interactive. We are playing as the uh, Safarids uh, dynasty in um, medieval, really truly Renaissance uh, Persia, the Persian Renaissance, um, but in the uh, the eight seventies. In Persian, yeah. So, thanks so much for tuning in. If you like watching me play these games, um, let me know what you think down in the comments. Give me a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel, of course. And uh, catch y'all on the next one. Keep it peaceful out there.